The right to have a safe abortion has been enshrined in the law for 50 years and we have relied upon it. Tonight, a nation divided. Minutes after the U.S. Supreme Court ended 50 years of federal abortion rights, there was joyful celebration. And there was anger. A dark day for women across this nation who have long fought for the right to have control over their own bodies. The high court's conservative majority overturned the 1973 landmark case, Roe v. Wade, writing in the majority opinion, the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion. Justice Samuel Alito wrote, abortion rights should be determined by individual states. President Joe Biden slammed the decision, calling it a tragic error. State laws banning abortion are automatically taking effect today. In some states, there will be no exception for incest or rape. 22 states are now poised to ban or restrict abortion. The attorney general of Texas already declared the procedure illegal in his state, and Republican Congressman Steve Scalise represents Louisiana, another state expected to end abortion access. What an historic day this is, and uh, what a great victory for life. The president insisted the Supreme Court's ruling was driven by politics. Three justices named by one president, Donald Trump, were the core of today's decision to upend the scales of justice. We spoke one-on-one -on -one with New York Attorney General Letitia James. James pledged New York will continue to have safe and legal abortions, telling PIX11 News the state will even provide funding for women traveling to New York for the procedure. For James, the issue is personal. I have also told my own personal story, um, having an abortion, um, and, and that decision is between me and my God and my doctor. Conservative Justice Clarence Thomas argued in the wake of this decision, the court should reconsider previous rulings on same-sex marriage and on birth control. Reporting live in the newsroom, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.